Hey guys, this is Tyler with Black Hat Vapor. I'm here in our shop to show you a new Aspire tank. And this is the Nautilus X. It's a newer version of the Nautilus. It's a pretty interesting tank and obviously it's a lot smaller than the Nautilus was. Uh, Aspire's been doing pretty good when it comes to new tanks. They came out with the Cleto and that's been a pretty solid tank thus far. So I guess let's see how this guy stacks up against it. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. All right guys, let's go ahead and see this thing up close. This is the case that it comes in. Just a standard plastic case. This pops up and like that. You got your Nautilus X, and underneath this piece of paper right here, you have a spare coil, another 1.5 ohm coil, and a spare glass, which if you're clumsy like me, comes in handy. Now, obviously this thing is very, very small, and that's why I think it's really good for small devices or people that are using, you know, what you call stealth vapes or something like that. That's why I had it earlier on this little mini volt. It's only a 40 watt device, but each one of these coils are only rated to 14 to 22 watts, so it functions pretty well. And as you can see, even though this tank is a 22 millimeter tank, it's very short. And I think it goes really nice on a device like this. But if you wanted to use it on something bigger, you definitely can. Now it is adjustable airflow. You can see two little holes, one on this side and one on the other side. This top ring right here, this small thin ring, is what controls the airflow itself. So it just kind of moves around. It's, it's free moving. It doesn't have a block or anything like that. So you can adjust it to however you like. It is top fill. So you just unscrew this entire top part. And as it was with the Nautilus, sometimes the top likes to screw out the coil itself. But in the past, when I've been unscrewing this, it hasn't really been much of an issue. So it's a minor annoyance at best. You fill around the coil when it's right here, and this glass is actually very easily interchangeable. You just kind of got to pull it off that silicone ring right there. So if you do break your glass, it won't be a pain in the butt to change it out. Now the coil itself is pretty weird. Because it is top airflow, both your air coming in and going out has to be pretty much in the same area. As you can see on the bottom, there's no airflow holes. But if you see this little notch right here, there's a hole in that notch, and that's where your airflow comes in. And they call this the U-Tech coil. The reason they call it a U-Tech coil is because it kind of makes a U shape on the inside and then comes out of that top hole right there, which is why it's offset to kind of make some room for it. It's a pretty interesting coil design. I've never really seen anything like it. I mean, I've seen a lot of top airflow coils, but the way this is set up is, is pretty unique. And it is a 1.5 ohm coil. It's rated from 14 to 22 watts. I ran it when I was testing it mostly at about 22 watts. It doesn't really get, any, get too hot or it doesn't burn or anything like that. So I think you can max it out and be pretty okay. Um, everything goes together pretty easily. The only thing I notice is when this is juicy, like if you have a used coil, it's kind of a pain in the butt to unscrew just because there's not a whole lot of surface area to grab. But if you grip it hard enough, then you know you should be fine. But just like the Nautilus, it uses threads on both sides of the coil. It kind of acts as its own chimney. This, everything screws in really nicely. The tank does only have a two mil capacity, but you know that's kind of what comes along with a smaller tank. So you do run through juice a little bit faster, but I have to say, I didn't have to fill this thing quite as much as I thought I would have to, so that's a plus. The drip tip is not interchangeable. It's actually a Delrin sleeve over this part right here. This has a little silicone ring that keeps that Delrin sleeve nice and tucked and in shape. All right, well, we've gotten down to the nitty gritty. Let's go ahead and see how it vapes. I've got it running on my mini volt 40 watt. I've got it set at about 22 watts. I figure, you know, that's the range of the 1.5 ohm coils and I figure go big or go home. I've got a Black Hat's Lemon Finger. It's actually from our Black Hat Select line. We'll have a link down at the bottom of the video that you can go ahead and buy it online or you can come to the shop and see it. It's really good. It's like a lemon meringue pie flavor and it's delicious. I've been on it for a while now. Let's go ahead and see how this thing works. In terms of vapor production, it's actually pretty good considering the airflow. I'm actually surprised at the airflow because the holes are so small. It does pretty good. Now, of course, I have it wide open. It'd probably be a little bit different if I had it closed up. The only thing that's lacking is flavor. I don't really notice a whole lot of flavor out of it. Like, I definitely taste the flavor, but it's very muted. Uh, that's the only real big problem I have with it. Other than, you know, the small capacity, that sort of thing, that could be an issue because I don't like refilling my tank over and over and over again. And I know nobody else does either. 
In terms of an improvement over the Nautilus, it's definitely much better. I have to say that. I'd still give it like a 6.5 out of 10 though, just because of the lacking in flavor. I'm a big flavor guy personally, and I really like that. But like I said, 6.5 out of 10, for what they were going for, it's definitely very solid. I don't think it's meant to be a cloud chaser or meant to be a uh, huge flavor mod anyways. It's just small, it's good for a stealth fape. This is Tyler with Black Hat. I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, this is Tyler with Black Flag Vapor. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> hey guys, this is Tyler with Black Hat Vapor. <laughs> In three, two. Hey guys, this is Tyler with Black Hat. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> I gotta get it out. <laughs> I can't stop. Oh, it's making me sweat more too. Okay, I got it.